Hi, this is Marlume's Creations, and today I will be showing you how to create this traffic light on your Rainbow Loom. For today's tutorial, you will need your Rainbow Loom set up in the straight configuration, and you will also need about 105 yellow bands or black. You can choose to make your traffic light black or yellow or or gray. Today's tutorial I'm going to repeat this one so I'm going to be using yellow. You will also need to use three pony beads and what you are going to do is you're going to thread two yellow bands. If you're doing yellow today you take two yellow. If you're doing black you will take two black and you will thread the two yellow bands through a red pony bead, a yellow pony bead, and a green pony bead. Now I am using a metallic yellow so that bead stands out for me when I use yellow. If you do not have metallic I'm not quite sure if that yellow band will blend in and then you won't notice it. Maybe you can use an orange instead and that way you can, I know the, <laughs> the light is not orange but you do want to be able to see it and and it, you know not have it blend in. The other supplies you will need besides these pony beads is if you do not own a pony bead you can use bands and this is what I've come up with. Say we are making the green light you will take one band and wrap it around your hook four times and then another green band for the green light again wrap it around four times then you will grab two yellow or two black the color of your traffic light and you are going to thread those on to your yellow band and you're going to repeat the same thing two more times to represent the red light and the yellow light so you would take two um, red bands, wrap it around four times, and then thread them on to two yellow. And so it would look like this. Now notice I have an orange band because if I use yellow, it's going to blend in. So I would use an orange, red, and a green, and that will be um, your lights. The other supply that you will need besides the yellow bands and your pony beads or bands are four colors on the sides. I'm using orange. You can use gray. If you choose to use orange in the middle, you can make these a gray. And those are the supplies that you will need for today. Let's get started with creating the traffic light. So the first thing we are going to do is make the base for your traffic light. Take two bands that are yellow. If you are making a black traffic light, you're grabbing two black and you are going to go down eight times using double bands Once you have placed your eighth set, you are going to grab a single band and wrap it around that last peg, only three, not four, just three. And that will become your base of your traffic light. You can loop that or you can wait because I'm going to now show you how to create the light covers that are on the side of your traffic light. There are six, three on each side, and then there are three in the middle. I'm showing you how to create the six that are on the side. Grab two bands and go from here to here. Do not connect them. We're going to just place it on the next set. And we're going to do this six times, so that's the fourth. fifth set and then the sixth and then take a single band on each of these 
and wrap a single band around each of these four times at the bottom. So that's one, I'm sure that was very boring to watch. And then you would loop them. I'm assuming you know how to loop. And once you loop each one of these, you can place it aside. And then you would loop these as well. And just in case you don't, you don't know how to loop, you are grabbing the capping band that we wrapped around and just grab in the bottom two and bring them up again the bottom two bring them up and you will do that onto the very last peg now I'm going to show you how to make the middle um, light covers these are a little tricky only because once they're placed on the loom they're very tight if you own a crazy loom hook I don't want you breaking your hook I'm going to show you two ways you can either do it on your loom or by hand. First I will show you how to do it by hand. Take a single band and wrap it around four times and then do that again. Single band, wrap it around four times. Then grab two yellow bands and place all of these onto that sing onto that double band and now that is one of the middle light covers you can do it that way or if you don't want to do it by hand you can place two bands from here to here place them push them down and grab a single wrap that around four times so these were two bands and then we use a single and wrapped around four and then another single and wrap those around four times as well and this is why a metal hook is useful you will grab the capping bands and if it's tight for you you can pull on it a little bit to stretch them out a little then you would grab the two bottom bands and just place it to the peg above. So then you remove it and you would only need three. So we have already created two, one on the loom, one on, you know, one on your hook and create the third how you feel best suits you. Once you have created three of these and then you have loops the base and then the six light covers on the side we will go on to the next step so I have looped the six light covers and the base and I'm going to remove it from my loom and I can place that on the side and then one by one remove these And you should have something like that and you can also take them off slowly and place them to the side or if you have a spare hook you are more than welcome to leave them on your hook so you should have six light covers on the side the base and then the three middle light covers that have double bands on them and this is what you should have so far and your actual lights with double yellow bands threaded into each pony bead or if you did not have a pony bead you are going to be using the bands like we discussed in the beginning so now I'm going to show you how to begin making the tropic light 
grab two bands and place it from here to here and then grab another two bands place it from here and place two here and to here. In the middle we are going to place the red light. So you can put your hook through the bottom loop and place that light right there like that. And Just make sure your bands are straight and not uneven. Then grab your either orange or gray that we are going to be placing on the sides. I'm using orange. And to grab that single band and wrap it around only two times on that peg as well as on this side. So you should have two bands, two yellow, two yellow, and then the orange wrapped around only two times. Then grab another set of double bands that are yellow and the next set is also going to have a light in the middle so the next one is yellow and you're going to place it on that one in the middle and then again grab two orange bands and wrap it around two times or gray back to using double yellow bands this whole row is just yellow and then this row is also going to contain the other light then double yellow double yellow Then grab double yellow and place it on these two. And the same with from the middle on those two. Now going down we're going to be using three bands. It makes the, 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 the pole of the traffic light a lot more sturdy. So grab three bands and go down. and you're going to do that four times so another three and this one has a bubble in it a lot of my bands have bubbles in it three We can grab the six light covers and start placing them. So place your hook through one loop and then the other loop. And you are going to place it, the first one, on the second peg. The same on this side.
and then just make sure they're facing outward. Same on these. We're going to skip the, the third one. There's nothing on the third row, and we're going to go on the fourth peg on both sides. It's just better to work sideways. And then the same, skip that row and go on the next one. So we have placed the outside light covers and now we are going to place these little guys. And these are a little tricky. You are going to need three single bands. So grab three single ones. Grab one of the light covers and place your hook through both loops. Thread a single, don't fling it like I did, thread a single through those loops. And then you can either, you can hold on to it like that and you're going to place it on the same pegs. Each of them are going to be placed on the same peg that has the other light cover and you're going to place it like so. Make sure it's even. See how mine is even? It's not twisted. So you're placing it like that. And here's the tricky part. You want the, first, the top row, the top part of the band, over that peg. First you want this light cover above. And once you have done that, you can grab you have to go in the middle and you want that bottom band underneath. So one band is under the peg, one band is above the peg. And then the light cover is on top. So what it's what's happening is it's, it should be like this. The band should be one part of it is on top, one's on the bottom, but the light cover definitely needs to be on top. Let's do that again. I promise you it's not that difficult. We're placing our hook through the loops, grabbing a single band, threading them through. Then place it on here. Well, that stinks. Let's try that again. That's why I like to grab it with my hand. I just grab that. It's just easier that way. And I place it on those three. And I'm going to place the light above so you can do that. And then reach in and grab that bottom band and one band should be on the top. And one band should be in the bottom. And that's your second light cover. Let's do that again. Thread that through. Grab it with your hand. Place it on these three. And I'm just going to bring, again if you're not quite sure what I mean, there's two bands in there, one, two, I'm going to grab this bottom one and leave that at the bottom and the top one goes on top and then the light cover stays on top and that's what I did with all three of those. So we have completed that part. Now we're going to add the base. So grab the base to your traffic light and I want you guys to add two more. So place your hook through those loops and add two more bands and thread them through. It just it's going to make the base look a lot nicer. And now this is what you're going to do. Place those loops onto that peg that's right there. And then 
grab your hook, put it through the bottom loops, also place it above on that peg. So this is going to be a little bit of a squeeze when it's time to loop. And then you're going to figure out which one is the middle for you. So somewhere around this one is my middle and I'm going to place my hook through all those bands and also place that on that peg. Let's do that over. I'm going to find out which one is the middle for me, and it's about this one. And then I'm placing that on that peg. And now we are going to place the capping bands. Take a single band and stretch it from here to here over twice. And skip the one that has the colors on it, the orange. We, we should be stretching these over twice, but we have to do something with those colors as well as this one as well. So just place one on that one. We're going to loop and then I will show you when to add the other capping band. Take your hook, and this is the fun, fun, fun part, and reach in through all those bands and just grab, push it like this, and then grab just the three bands that are on the bottom. Make sure you're grabbing all three of those bands. Try to get a look at yours by looking on the side. So now I, I see that I have mine. And place that forward. That's really the hardest part. You should have been grabbing three bands. Again, three bands going forward. Mine were a little easy to grab because these bands have a slippery feel to them. If yours are not, just be very careful. Stop here and you're going to grab these, the top two bands, and place it to the right. And then the next set of bands and place it to the left. And then the last set and place it up. And that's what you should have done so far. Then reach in here, grab the bottom two, bring that up, reach in here, grab the bottom two and bring those up. Now these, same thing, bottom two, bring those up. Make sure when you're reaching into this peg that you are grabbing the bottom two bands but that you're pushing the ba uh, capping bands away. Pull the bottom two up. It's easier if you just push these down. Reach here. Again, bottom two bands and bring those up. Do not go ahead of me. I want everyone to stop at the row that has a color. Reach here. The band that has the light on it. And now we are going to loop these and go up. This is the tricky part with the middle. You're going to push this band away. Reach for the bottom two. But while you're, re while you're reaching for these, you need to loop underneath. Do not loop over. Loop underneath and maybe grab them with your hand and then put it on the peg above. It's important that this stays sticking out. That will become the light cover. Once we have stopped at this row, take your hook on the side, grab those two orange bands, and bring them up and over. Take these, bring them up and over. This is the fun, fun part, which means it's not. Sorry. So, we need to place a capping band on these. What I like to do is there's two rows. There's a bottom, a top, a bottom, a top, a bottom, a top. Take your hook and just take off one layer, the very top. Again, with this one, one layer and one layer, only removing the top row. Your hook should just rest like that and you should be fine. Grab a single band, place it on these, and twist it around twice. And now you are returning this one to its peg, this one to its peg, 
and the last one. Now place your hook in here, bring the, these up, this one up, and this one up. Grab the bottom two, bring those up, and again, this is the tricky part, you're bringing this through the light, not over, through the light. And if you want to grab with your finger, it's, I find that to be easy for me. Place it on that peg, reach in here, bottom two, bring that up, and we stop at the color. We are going to grab the two orange and bring it up and over. The same on here, and up and over. And that fun part again. Take your hook and remove only one layer, one layer, and one layer. Grab a single yellow band, place it across, wrap it around twice. Then replace that one to its peg, that one, don't fall, and the last one. Now we will reach in here, grab the bottom two. Bring that up, grab these and bring this one up, and this one up. Reach here, bring this one up. You can leave that for last for a second. Reach this one, and now again, reach in here, and through underneath, oh well, through the light cover, and place that like that. We are done. Now we are going to take these, place it on the middle, and take these and place that on the middle as well. And then you're going to place your hook through all these bands and just grab a single band, pull it through, bring it up, you can take that band, pull it over like that, and make a slip knot. If your band snaps, mine has not, you can just repeat the process by placing your hook through here and grabbing another band. You can now remove your traffic light from your loom. Use the back of your hook and go very slowly, and then when I return, I will show you how mine looks. How mine looks like off the loom, and you're probably saying this is ugly because it is ugly. Because we have to now push, you can leave yours like that, but if you leave it like that, then you're not getting the light covers. You need to take your bead and push it through to the other side. This is a little tricky, this part, because there's a there's a double band over here that we tied around twice, and you have to bring it over. And once you have done that, it's it's pretty easy. So that's one light. Same with this one. Going to sorry for the knuckle crack. Try to bring that yellow bead up. And that's the second one. And then the third. bring it through and it should slide up so if they're that little band like that you don't want that band that's the capping band you want to pinch that capping band it's hard and pull it over the bead there we go and then turn it make sure you got and then just kind of tweak it pull on it and then that is how you make your traffic light on the rainbow loom. I hope you like the tutorial and I hope it wasn't too difficult and thank you for watching and if you like my video please subscribe.